It seems as though everyone is board certified in aesthetics lately, but I bet you'd be shocked to learn what it takes to truly become a board certified dermatologist or a fellowship trained procedural dermatologist or a board certified plastic surgeon. I bet you'd also be shocked if you learned how many fake credentialing and fake licensing programs there are in the US and how many people portray to be aesthetic providers and board certified in aesthetics when they truly are not. Aesthetics in today's world is being overrun by crash courses and fake credentialing, which is becoming an increasing problem, landing people in the hospital with severe complications and even death. So I've mentioned the corruption of aesthetics in my YouTube channel before, but because there's been an increased number in patient complications, deaths, hospitalizations, and even my last week's video where we talked about the CDC's investigation for counterfeit Botox and hospitalizations of patients who are being treated by unlicensed providers, I wanted to provide this video to tell you guys what to look out for to make sure that you're not being treated by a fake aesthetic provider. I'm Dr. Stephanie Kappel and I'm a board certified certified double fellowship trained procedural dermatologist. And I'm here to be a source of truth in a world of clickbait education and misinformation. I make these videos to provide a free resource for everyone who wants to learn about aesthetics and protect themselves and make wiser, more educated choices with who they go to and procedures that they have done or products that they use on your skin. My channel is unsponsored, unbiased, and science-based. After 15 to 20 years of education in this field, I'm here to provide that source of information for how to reverse aging and how to age in reverse and how to beautify your skin at all ages. In last week's video, we talked about counterfeit Botox, diluting and watering down filler and other unethical procedures that are going on in aesthetics today. So watch that video if you missed it. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about counterfeit licensing and fake credentialing that doctors are using to pose themselves as board certified aesthetic doctors when really they truly are not. In fact, you'd be shocked, there is no such thing as board certification in aesthetics. And unless you're well versed within the medical community, a normal individual wouldn't know that. They wouldn't know that there was no such thing in board certification in aesthetics. So what are the core specialties? Who are the true aesthetic providers? And who are the providers that are crossing over from other specialties and saying that they're board certified in aesthetics when they really took a one day course in aesthetics and are treating paying patients with procedures that they're not trained to do and have no idea what they're doing? and probably you two get in the back room before seeing and treating you as a patient in the patient room. I'm gonna talk about the shady tactics that people will use to make themselves seem more credentials than they truly are. And I'll teach you what to look out for to spot fake credentialing. And this is not fear mongering or clickbait. I'm here for you. I'm here to educate you and empower you in a world where I see horrible things happening to good people. This is a serious topic that needs to be addressed. That way, you'll be able to keep yourself safe in an industry that is still under-regulated. Hopefully someday it will be more regulated, but right now it is the wild west out there. Please make sure to like this video and share this video with anyone who would want this information to help protect ourselves. We have the opportunity to keep each other safe by circulating this warning. So a few weeks ago, somebody made a comment on my YouTube channel referring to another physician saying that he was board certified in aesthetics. And I'm like, that's so interesting because there is no board certified aesthetics program in the United States graduate medical education system. And unless you're an MD or have been through the process of four years of medical school, four years of residency, and then one to six years of post residency fellowship, you wouldn't really know that. So when I heard that, I'm like, wow, has something changed since I've graduated? Or what is this all about? So I looked up board certification in aesthetics and four, five, or six on a Google search credentialing programs came up that were basically one day courses that you would pay a fee anywhere from $150 to $1,000 and you take a one day course in a certain area of aesthetics, Botox, lasers, peels, fillers, and I think there was microneedling too. And I was just like baffled when I found out that the certification looks just like the certification that you get when you graduate from a US medical school or a US residency medical school program or a fellowship program. And they look identical and it's just impossible for a patient to look at a credential on the wall of a doctor's office or on someone's website and see board certified in aesthetics. 
it looks just like board certified in dermatology, which can be really, really confusing. But so you guys know, there is no such thing as board certified in aesthetics. So if you see that anywhere on an American physician's website, it was one of these credentialing courses. Now, what the true aesthetic providers have as credentials is they're usually one of the four clinical subspecialties of medicine, and that is plastic surgery, dermatology, oculoplastics, and ophthalmology. And after that, they can go on to do post-residency fellowships in different areas of aesthetics, but it would be like procedural dermatology or oculoplastics or different subspecialties of plastic surgery. And a lot of plastic surgeons can either go a straight route to plastic surgery, which is actually more competitive, or they can go through another surgical program and then do additional plastic surgery, residency or fellowship training on top of that, whether it's otolaryngology, general surgery, ENT, there's different pathways to get there, but all these providers in aesthetics who are board certified in the four course of specialties of plastic surgery, ophthalmology, oculoplastics or dermatology have been through appropriate training in aesthetics and then have additional training on top of that. There is no straight residency program in aesthetics that is a four year ACGME program after medical school. Now, just hearing myself talk this sounds like it might be a lot to process for someone who is not in medicine, but basically just know board certified in aesthetics does not exist. Board certified in plastic surgery is a real thing. Board certified in dermatology is a real thing. Board certified in oculoplastics is a real thing. And board certified in ophthalmology is a real thing. And they can go on to do additional aesthetic training. And that is a true aesthetic board certified physician. But that's not to say if you're a pediatrician and you've been in pediatrics residency for four years, focusing on health and medicine in the pediatric population and kids, you can obviously open a medi spa and do Botox and filler and liposuction. I don't agree with it, but there are a lot of doctors, probably more than half of the aesthetic providers are not trained in aesthetics. But I feel that it's very misleading to not let their patients know about that and to lead them to believe they've been practicing in aesthetics for 20 years when they really have been doing pediatrics for 15 of those 20 years. And I see it all the time. And we see it in our meetings at our academic meetings when we have complications that are happening and they always get traced back to people who have not had adequate training but really represent themselves to the community as having the appropriate training, which may be very misleading. So that's why I wanted to do this video to educate you guys. There is no board certification in aesthetics at all. So when I did the Google search, I was really amazed at what I found, so many different credentialing programs. So when finding out about all of these fake credentialing programs that exist in the US, of course there's companies trying to make money off of doctors who were willing to pay to get a certificate to put on their wall to say that they're trained in aesthetics when they're really not. They're usually board certified in OBGYN or they're board certified in family medicine or in pediatrics or they're dentists or they're chiropractors, but they're not true aesthetic providers who went through a residency, one of the core subspecialties where you're spending four intense years logging in cases of, of surgery. If you're in plastic surgery, blepharoplasty, facelift, neck lift, abdominoplasty, breast lift, Brazilian butt lift, all of the things. Or if you're in dermatology, you're doing every kind of laser and Botox and filler and microneedling and different aesthetic dermatologic procedures with a mentor behind your back, breathing down your neck, watching every move you make, and you're logging in all these cases, and then you get a certification. So I texted one of my friends who is a plastic surgeon, and I'm like, hey, did you see that there's all these credentialing programs that are saying, you know, board certified in aesthetics? Like, what is that all about? And my friend who's a plastic surgeon who after four years, of an, attending an Ivy League medical school, went on to a plastic surgery residency, and is now in practice. He's like, you didn't know about that? Yeah, they exist all over the all over the place, and we always are on the receiving end of these doctors having these complications. And he's like, did you just hear about this yesterday? This woman died at 28 years old who underwent a liposuction procedure by a pediatrician who said that he was board certified in aesthetics. And the problem is, is that this poor woman who was a 28 year old woman who underwent liposuction, probably did her research, looked on the do doctor's website, saw that he was credentialed and board certified in aesthetics, but probably had no idea that he was a pediatrician by trade. And liposuction and a lot of these aesthetic procedures seem simple and they seem easy, but a lot can go wrong, especially with liposuction. There's a very high risk procedure. It's considered a surgical procedure. And we see cases of this 
every day in the US and also countries outside of the US where people are doing Brazilian butt lifts in suites like outside their lash extension studios. And it just has gotten to a point where I feel really bad for people who can't tell the difference. And so maybe making this video and knowing what to look for will help protect you from bad things happening to you. So just know there is no board certification in aesthetics. The four core specialties that I mentioned before are truly aesthetic providers, but that's not to say that if you are an OBGYN or a dentist and you want to open a medi spa and god forbid you want to do liposuction just go the right path and get the additional training don't do a one-day course or crash course in vegas pay for a certificate that's unethical and it's misleading to patients and we have a due diligence you guys for patient safety and patient protection especially in a very unregulated industry so i did a google search and i looked for board certification in aesthetics and what came up was the American Academy of Aesthetic Medicine, the AAAMS, which is American, American Association of Aesthetic Medicine and Surgery. There was the AAFE, which you guys probably see on Instagram a lot, the American Academy of Facial Aesthetics. By the way, I followed this account and just the other day, they were teaching people how to do Botox and they said a brow lift would be a Botox injection here, which will drop the brow, you guys. Botox injection for brow lift is up here because you have to target the ocularis oculi muscle, not the frontalis. This is the first way to drop a lid and that's why some of my patients when they can't wait for me they'll cheat on me and they'll go to a different provider and they come in with these heavy dropped lids and it almost happens to everyone and it's because they're probably going to providers who learned from people who weren't properly trained in the first place so it's like a propagation of misinformation and incorrect injection techniques and these fake credentialing services are not only misleading to patients but they oftentimes are not teaching providers the right protocol and treatment protocols when doing aesthetic treatments, which can lead to complications and bad outcomes. The other fake credentialing service that I saw was the American Board of Aesthetic Medicine. Now, if you hear these things, American Board of Aesthetic Medicine, the American Academy of Aesthetic Medicine and Surgery, these sound like legit credentialing services, but they're not. So my, my take home point is to say, ask a provider, did you do a residency in plastic surgery or oculoplastics or dermatology or even ophthalmology? You wouldn't think ophthalmology is a core specialty, but it actually is. But those four core specialties, you're going to be safe. Now, if they say, I've been doing aesthetics for 20 years, always ask them. This is the key question, you guys. What did you do your residency training in? Now, they may say, I'm a family practice doctor, but I've been doing online courses or I attended you know, a course at the American Academy of Dermatology or I got a certification at the American Society for Dermatologic Surgery. There's lots of different training courses out there, but some of those training courses are a lot better than a one-day crash course with a certificate that you're basically paying for to get your credentialing. So that's what I want you guys to really be aware of. There's no such thing as board certification in this aesthetics ask where they did the residency and if it's not an aesthetic say well if you didn't do a residency in one of the core specialties where did you get your training and there may be a pediatrician out there that has done 10 years of intense training and been in practice for 10 years and and you may be safe with him or her but at least be educated and have the full story because a lot of doctors sometimes won't give you the full story which i think is highly unethical which is why i wanted to do this video for you guys it's like the inside scoop i'm kind of talking to you guys as if you were my sister or my family member or a loved one and i want to protect you from having a bad outcome or complication happening to you. So last but not least, I wanted to show you guys what is, what's the ACGME? Because you guys probably hear me talk about the ACGME all the time. After graduating from a U.S. medical school, which is four years, you usually go on to complete a residency, which can be anywhere from four, six, even eight years, depending on the subspecialty. And there's 28 subspecialties in medicine. And the four core specialties are the ones that usually branch off and go into aesthetics. But there's all kinds of, there's 28 of them. There's cardiology, gastroenterology, emergency medicine, orthopedic surgery, cardiovascular surgery, there's so many, but there's 28 and they're all through the ACGME. And you look for this symbol and it stands for the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education. And as long as they've competed one of those residencies in the course of specialties, you should be fine. Again, I'm not throwing shade on anybody who didn't go that route because a lot of those people can do a lot more than just a one day crash course. And I'm sure that they do, but those are the, the aesthetic providers that you want. You want the ones that have experience and are not misleading with what they're board certified in because a lot of people will be board certified in pediatrics or OBGYN and they choose to do dermatology, which they think is equivalent to injecting Botox and doing filler, which is not. Dermatology is a lot more than that. It's managing skin cancers, diagnosing melanoma, inflammatory dermatoses. There's a lot more to it, but of course they want the more lucrative end of dermatology. So instead of practicing dermatology, they just inject Botox, but they'll tell their patients I'm a board certified dermatologist.
dermatologist. They're board certified in pediatrics, practicing dermatology, which is actually just injecting Botox. And it can be really misleading. I see my own colleagues do it, you guys. But I also see a lot of patients getting hurt by this. And this is discussed at all of our meetings. And I always have it in the back of my mind to do a video to protect you guys, because that's what this YouTube channel is all about. I want to do good in the world and empower you guys, because I see on the back end all the crazy things that are happening in aesthetics and people getting hurt. My own patients coming in to see me to reverse complications from bad outcomes or complications that happen from an unlicensed provider or injector. So hopefully after watching this video, you'll know what to look for, what true board certifications are, and that there's no such thing as board certification in aesthetics. And if anyone is saying that on their website, really take a deeper dive and look where they did their residency. You'll see it's not an aesthetic. So hopefully that'll protect you guys because with the increased rate of deaths, hospitalizations, complications, I really wanted to do this video for you. I hate being negative or perpetuating negativity, but hopefully we can turn this into a positive experience. And when you do have an aesthetic procedure, you won't be afraid to ask your provider, where did you do your residency training? What did you do your residency training in? Where did you get your aesthetics training and how long have you been doing this? Who trained you? Because if you didn't learn it from a US medical school program, where did you learn it? Hopefully it wasn't at the Bellagio in Vegas for a one day course. I hope this makes sense, you guys. I'm here to protect you and I love you so much. We'll see you next week.